Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your spirit guide messages for December. This is Mary. This is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So this is messages from your spirit guides, spirit guide messages, what you need to know at this time. So we're going to see what we get here. I have three Oracle decks. They are listed below if you're interested uh, in knowing what they are. So we're going to pick three um, Oracles from each deck. So I hope everybody's doing well. Welcome in. Happy December. All right. So let's get three messages here. Take what resonates for you. Take it how it resonates for you. And uh, throw away the rest, I guess. So let's see what we get here. You can check the description box below. There's tons of stuff down there if you're interested in a personal reading. Uh, Gemini past playlist. I do consider all my readings timeless. So even though this is dated for December, I do consider it timeless. So let's see for Gemini. Three cards for Gemini. Let's see what we got. We got one, two, we got one more. All right. That's the Earth Magic. This is the Work Your Light. And then we have the Spirit Messages. And then we have Legacy of the Divine Tarot. They're all listed below if you're interested in that. All my social media links are also listed below if you're interested in that. All right. So let's get whoa. <laughs> one, two. Let's get one more for you, Gemini. What is going on with Gemini? What does Spirit want you to know at this time? We get three more. So I'll reveal what they are. We'll go over them, and then I'll pull one tarot for each as a clarifier to get more uh, of a deeper meaning for each Arthur card for you, Gemini. All right, where are the Spirit messages for Gemini? Where do they need to know at this time? Okay, we got two there. One more. For Gemini, I'm feeling this one. All right, let's see what we have. What do we have for Gemini? We have Meadow Vulnerability. So this is being open, vulnerable to new experiences, new things, taking chances, letting down your guard, letting, you know, be whatever will be, will be, and being open to that. May bring in growth and expansion here because you do see the flowers and all the greenery uh, reminds me of springtime where everything grows and blossoms, blossoms and blooms. So DNA karma. So there may be something here, uh, maybe uh, clearing in your karma. I don't know. We'll see. And then we have tree grounding. So yeah, I really think you need, you also need to ground yourself, um, get outside exercise more, get outside in nature more, um, and that kind of energy, grounding, you know, really being at peace and harmony and tune and touch with yourself, sometimes getting out in nature, you know, sitting by the river, sitting by a stream. Um, I know I got a waterfall down the street and I love to go for a walk and just stand and let, you know, hear the water rush and, you know, have the mist that comes up from the waterfall. So I really enjoy that and it helps really for me to connect. So, you know, anything you can do to connect out in nature to make you feel at peace, you know, harmony kind of feeling, you probably need to get out and do that more. Um, something here with your DNA karma. So let me just read a little bit um, about that. Let's see if I can find it. All right, so it says here, Aspects of your soul entered your primitive physical self long before you had begun to take form. While the DNA that you inherited from your biological parents has a physical component, it also has a soul pattern that came together in the creation of you. You are predis predisposed to follow the karmic dictates of this patterning to some extent. Yet as you evolve in your conscious and expand the light of awareness, you can make choices that shift and modify this ancestral design. This is one of those times you can feel the tug of your soul that is both ancient and karmic, yet you also recognize the persistent and loving communication from your higher self that contradicts the more familiar solutions before you. The choice is up to you, but know that every time you heed the guidance of your higher self, no matter what etheric or physical form it takes, human consciousness is elevated. 
in a sense, it becomes a choice between destiny and fate. So this can also do, you know, DNA and uh, patterns from your lineage, from your ancestors, uh, and that sort of energy also. So you may be breaking the pattern here uh, in this, uh, like, karmic wheel by grounding yourself, listening to your gut, your intuition, your higher self, and really paying attention to that and being open and vulnerable to change the pattern, to open to new things, to change the course, to change, you know, how the pattern has keep going and going uh, and recycling itself. I feel like you can probably help to break that pattern in your life, which will lead to more growth, expansion. You see the tree here is about also growth, expansion. So we'll see when we get into the tarot here, what's going on for you, Gemini. So we have soul family, call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. So connecting to your friends, your family, like-minded people, um, whether it's, you know, social groups, you know, your re you know, religious groups or faith groups or whatever you do here, your, your co-workers, if you have a tight-knit soul family with co-workers, I mean, anybody here. You know, asking for support, help, guidance, um, advice here. Don't have to do it alone. Whatever you're going through, whatever, if you have a challenge right now. And we have no, wait, postpone, pause, say no. So whatever, whatever you got going on right now, if it's very turbulent, if it's rocky, if it's, you know, stormy, and you feel like you need to say no, then you probably do because we got a definite no right there. We have priestess. How are you being called to step up and lead? So again, the priestess is about listening to you, got your intuition, stepping up to the plate, taking the lead and really grasping um, those gut feelings and the, that tugging that you feel and really um, paying attention to that. So if you need to say no to something and you know it's the right thing, then say no. Even it, maybe you have to ask for guidance, help, advice with friends, family. You know, should I say no? Whatever. I know it's the right thing to do. The priestess knows. They just know. Then you need to say no. And it may help this pattern here, this karmic pattern that you see right in the middle here. So I think being vulnerable to change and really grounding yourself can break this uh, karma pattern. All right. So let's see. Find your center. Your outside world is a reflection and a manifestation of what's going on inside you at this time. When the outside world becomes so hectic and stressful that your anxiety starts to overwhelm you, when this is an idea, then this is an ideal moment to stop and ask, when was the last time I checked in with myself? So again, it's about you being centered, finding your center, grounding yourself. It, find your center and grounding is like the same exact thing here and they came right under one another so that's just amazing here so really grounding yourself finding your center you know what's the karmic pattern that keeps going on in your life maybe you know it stems back from again your ancestors your lineage your um you know your parents your grandparents here you know vulnerability meadow is a wide open space you know take a broad perspective and really look at all aspects and um, look at the bigger picture. So we have here forgiveness. Holding on to resentment and anger is preventing or even suffocating your spiritual growth. Resentment is one of those, one of the strongest and most damaging of human emotions. The act of forgiveness in its own right is equally incredible, incredibly powerful, and it has the capacity to heal and transform. So something here with forgiveness. Um, some something could be going on uh, with family, friends, or something um, could be this karmic pattern of people not forgiving. So I think forgiveness here may play a big part if it's with family or soul family or friends or whatever here, or even yourself, forgiving yourself. And when you find your center and you ground yourself, could be even forgiving yourself for repeating karmic patterns. Hmm. All right. Seek. The power of spirit exists in all things. Everything is made up of energy, and every single thing in your physical world contains a fragment 
of spirit, including you. We are all one with spirit and always will be connected to one another. So again, this is the soul family, you know, seeking and finding your soul family, your tribe. Um, you know, if you feel like you're not with the right people, that could be it too, why you keep falling into these same karmic patterns. Um, maybe you need to seek like-minded people that are like you, your true soul family. So if you need to say no and break patterns of things going on around you to break the karmic cycle, then you probably need to do that. You need to ground, you need to stand firm, stand tall like this tree, but also be vulnerable and open to new things, new friends, new family, new soul tribe, knowing it's probably the best thing to do here with the priestess energy, really finding your inner being, your inner center, who you truly are, forgiving yourself and others, and seeking out those that are your soul family. So it's almost like all intertwining into... Um, one message here but it doesn't have to be I mean you take what parts resonate what parts uh, don't for you so Gemini I'm gonna pull one tarot for each card to get a little more uh, clarity here so I do ask if you're new you can check out my channel you like what you see P please feel free to uh, like share subscribe comment all that great stuff if you subscribe don't forget to hit the bell I do four different readings a month a lot of readings so you won't miss out if you do thank you Again, check the description box. Tons of information there. Personal reading, social media playlists, tons of stuff. And thank you to everybody who supported me in the channel. In whichever way you have, I truly, truly appreciate it. Could not do it without you guys. So thank you, thank you so much. So let's get some cards to clarify for you here, Gemini. Some cards to clarify for Gemini. All right, Gemini. Let's see. Let's get three more. Three more for Gemini. One more. All right. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So the Queen of Wands. So this is a very king or queen. Doesn't matter. And you know this is fire, but I know your ear. That's totally fine. This is just the energy of being fiery, passionate, creative, go-getter, ambitious kind of energy that you can have the passion, the willpower, the strength, the courage to break karmic cycles, to break patterns, you know, to um, do what's right for you, to say no when you need to, to stand up. This Queen of Wands, she stands up in her power. She's strong. She's confident. Doesn't take any BS. She's fiery. So you can be in that energy here with the Queen, that Queen of Wands energy. So let's see. So we have vulnerability with the moon. So the moon here can represent, um, you know, intuition. It can represent secrets. It can represent uh, not seeing things clearly. Um, it can also represent, you know, deep feelings and emotions, things coming to light eventually. Because all will be revealed, you know, the sun nourish and grows, you know, everything in this meadow. So I feel like Things that you don't see that you're not clear on, if you're open and vulnerable, you don't know how it's going to turn out. You don't know how, what direction it's going to take, where it's going to lead you. But I think it's going to lead you, if you take a chance to be open and be vulnerable to all this growth and expansion, even though you may not see it with the moon energy, because you can't see clearly in the moonlight. So you may not see things clearly. You may, you know, say, well, I don't know. If I open up, take a chance here, I, I, I don't know what the outcome's going to be. I, I just don't know. This is telling you all this growth and expansion here. So, all right. So we have DNA karma. So we have the magician. So you can manifest. This is about manifesting new beginnings. So if you need to break karmic cycles, karmic patterns in your life, people around you, uh, the lineage of your family, this is somebody, the magician, who can manifest new beginnings, new ways, new way of living, new life. Has all the tools, the resources to do it. Has, you know, the willpower, has the courage, has compassion, has strength, has um, stability. So you can manifest breaking karmic patterns here if you choose to. All right, so tree and grounding here. So yeah, the ace of coins. So I think by finding your center, finding who you truly are, grounding yourself, standing tall and firm, 
will lead you to this divinely guided brand new beginning of stability, growth, expansion, a firm foundation, basis, structure for the long term, for, this, for the rest of your life. Based on um, growth and abundance here. And this tree is all about growth. So really finding your center, grounding yourself, you know, listening to who you truly are, doing what's right for you will lead you to this total abundance, a brand new beginning. You got two brand new beginnings here. Breaking the karmic pattern and choosing to do that will lead you to being firmly planted here in a brand new beginning with growth and abundance. So what do we have here? Soul family and we have the Ace of Swords. So soul family, call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. So the Ace of Swords is another brand new beginning. You have two aces here. Based on truth, clarity, a big aha moment, a big epiphany, big spiritual awakening, um, seeing things clearly, truthful, honest communication, cutting away things no longer serving you, standing up for yourself, telling it like it is. So, you know, now finding your soul family, having that truth, that clarity, people you could talk to freely, communicate to freely, being open and honest with, it's like freedom. It's like clarity and freedom with this soul family. It's like a whole new beginning based on truth and clarity. So we have no, so what should you say? So this is justice. So... So that, you know, this is about, it's also about um, truths and it's about um, balance. Could be something in the justice system. If you're thinking about taking something to the justice system or something like that, this is no. So maybe it's something that you can do. Um, you can figure out a solution without having to go to the justice system. Because it says, wait, postpone. Pause, say no. So if you're thinking about legal action, I mean, this is what I'm getting with this. If you're thinking about legal action on something here, this is telling you no. may not be the right thing to do. Maybe it's an overreaction. Maybe it's taking it too far. Um, you know, maybe justice will just work itself out. You know, maybe something will happen here. You know, karma there karmically that will just resolve the situation. You know, a tar moment may happen uh, in a situation where you don't even have to uh go to like into the court system or something like that or the legal system so or for some of you it could be um will justice prevail in this situation maybe a no so maybe you might have to go to the court system if that's what you feel is the right thing to do will there be truth and clarity or the balancing of the scales for some maybe no so it's two different messages here. You know your message if you feel like it's something you definitely have to take legal action because you feel like justice will not prevail here. Then you do what you feel. If some feel, well, I don't know if I should, you know, take this further, then that's a no too. So if that makes sense to you, um, then you take it how it resonates here. All right. So what do we have here? We have priestess. How are you being called to step up and lead? So we have the three pentacles here. So this is, you know, maybe mastering a new craft here. Maybe you're just becoming in tune and in touch with your spirituality, your higher knowing, uh, divine energy. So this is like mastering that craft. It's like learning something new. Working, you know, well, this man is alone, but usually it shows people working together. But I feel like you could be learning, definitely learning something new here and mastering that craft. Because you see him diligently working on mastering uh, his coinage. So this definitely could be something new for you um, that you're working on to um, master. All right. So let's see here. We have find your center. So we have the devil energy. Yeah. So toxic energy. So I had felt that. Any toxic energy you may have around you, um, this is finding your center, you know, or, you know, toxic energy that you come in, come into every single day of your life, whatever it is, if it's at work, if it's with family, friends, this is telling you, go find some time for you. Find your peace, your harmony, your balance. Find your center from within and kind of block out all that negative energy is what I'm getting with that. And this could also be toxic patterns also within yourself. 
that you can find your center and you can probably clear that you choose to clearing finding your center and clearing that toxic energy so we have forgiveness so we have the fool here so somebody may have done something foolish <laughs> around you friend family co-worker here and you know this is taking a leap of faith starting over just resetting everything at zero here you know forgetting the foolishness uh whatever happened here and just forgiving it and starting over kind of a simple message there so that could be for some of you or this is telling you just you know take that leap of faith and ask for forgiveness or um say you know i deserve forgiveness or whatever here taking that leap and i think it'll reset everything back to zero and starting over starting fresh and it all begins with forgiveness in some way all right last message here for you gemini so we have seek we have the page of cups so this could be, you know, apologies. This could be loving communication between two people, seeing eye to eye, peaceful resolutions. Um, oh, this is the par power of spirit trying to um, communicate with you, sending you messages um, of love and support and that kind of energy. Because of the spark, power of uh, spirit exists in all things. Everything is made of energy and every single thing in your physical world contains a fragment of spirit including you, we are all one with spirit and always will be connected to one another. So I feel like spirit is really here trying to communicate with you, trying to send you messages in some way, uh, could be through children um, or something like that, if that makes sense. So yeah, I think spirit is really trying to uh, communicate with you and send you messages here, maybe in a youthful, fun way or something like that, uh, if that makes sense. For you, Gemini. Well, a lot of different messages here, Gemini. So I hope they resonated. Again, take what resonates and uh, I guess throw away what doesn't. So good luck to you, Gemini. And I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.